Welcome back to the channel, and today we are continuing our Crashlander survival journey, and it is a very special episode, I think, because uh, I've got a new toy to play with. We've got this thing, which is the enhanced drill. I had to refresh my memory there. It is a glow crawler enhanced drill. If you connect a chemical container to it and a button, you can trigger small explosions at five chemicals per explosion. Now, if you missed the past episode, uh, check this out. We have a lot of chemicals. Do you have any idea how many explosions this is? If you pause right now and count these up and uh, divide by five, you'll figure it out. Okay, uh, we've got fog, apparently. Like, a very, very dense layer of fog has appeared at my base. What is going on here? Uh, I just realized I'm not in the mine anymore. I should put my helmet back on. Safety first. What is going on with this fog though? Oh, 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 that's even weirder. It goes up and down with me. Okay. I think something may have glitched out. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. All right, but anyway, this chest right here has all, has my blueprint basically. I need to, I need to organize. Do I have a spare chest somewhere? All right, I think I'm gonna have to make a new chest. What is with the fog though? I just need an empty chest, like just as, as a general thing. And let me get some, these are my basic building materials. Uh, these things go into the input of that. That way, if I need to craft something, I have a bunch of my basic ore and stuff. Uh, but for the output materials, let's go. We have a bunch of metal on us. I think that's all we need to create the chest parts. Uh, not small, we want large. All right, there we go. Metal cage is crafting, and then we will have the base component. All right, that is the last chest I can create with my current materials, unless I have some more glue hiding somewhere. Oh, I do. I have some more glue hiding somewhere. All right, I could make some more chests as well, but I think we're okay for now. I just need this so I can put my stuff in it to make room for my uh, all my mining equipment. All right, so this is gonna be my chest of personal belongings. And then the, uh, the, the, one of these, where, wait, where did, where's the chest of, oh, it's the colored one. That's why I painted it in the first place was so I could recognize it as the mining chest and it made my brain completely ignore it. It's like chests are yellow, but nope, not this one. Crash lander miner. And what I wanna do is let's, it's, I mean, it should be easy enough just to... Oh, it, it's a lot smaller, but here. Um, we need a chemical container for this. Don't hold on. Let me read the description again. Connect a chemical container and a button to trigger a small explode. Do I have the materials to make a chemical container? How to make chemical container. Glue. Uh, container, casing component, two vacuum pipe connectors. I think... Do I have a casing component? Yeah, I don't think I have one. What do we need to make one? And these things. Any component kits and metal. That's fine. Oh, let me get my stuff back. I got a bunch of component kits and metal on this thing. In this chest. All right, I need two of these. And then I need this thing, which requires another metal cage. So I need more of these. And then we'll be good. And look at that. Chemical container ready to be crafted. This is my first time, I think... Ever, potentially ever having a chemical container in this game. It, I think it, I think it exists in vanilla, but there was no reason to ever craft one because you could just use a regular chest, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the same thing here. I think you need a chemical container probably instead of a regular vacuum chest, but, but I'm just following instructions, okay? All right, so now I've got a chemical container. I'm gonna put the chemical container right there because this does not have, um, this does not have normal steering. So those wheels don't have to like turn. I just realized I don't have any batteries in this thing. I was gonna put 20 batteries in for now, just so we don't run out of energy. All right, so we hook up the chemical container to the drill, I believe. There we go. Wait, let me read it. I, I'm gonna, gonna read it one more time. Chemical container and a button to the drill. Chemical container goes to the drill and now I need another button. All right, that button goes to the drill. And now let's get the chemicals. One, two, three, four, five sets of chemicals should do it. And we're ready for some explosions. Um, I'm a bit scared. I'm gonna do it though. Oh, I gotta hook up the button to the seat. All right, number six. Ready? I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna, let me get away from my base real quick. Am I gonna perpetually have this thing, fo this uh, fog following me around? I might want to respawn back in. All right, I'm gonna do an explosion now. Three, two, one. 
Okay, looks like my vehicle is fine. And we've used five chemicals. So is that is that 20 explosions? Or 25 explosions? Yeah, because each one of these will have four explosions. Oh, so then 20 explosions. No, I was right the first time. 20 explosions. I'm gonna spot like look at the look at the way the fog follows me down. I'm gonna I'm gonna reload real quick and um see if I have a clear clear vision. Look at that. Clear vision. Clear as day. It it is day. Oh no, it's coming back. Whoa, look at it. It's slowly what? Maybe it's just a weather effect right now. It totally just came in like gradually. Alright, maybe it's just a weather effect and it'll eventually go away. It's kind of cool though. I just wish it didn't, like, do this following me thing where it actually clears up above me. I should be able to go under it. All right, so before we, uh, I'm gonna leave a little, little bit of a, not cliffhanger, but, uh, a little bit of suspense. We're not gonna use the drill just yet. We've, we've tested it, but we're gonna use it on some rock soon. But first, uh, let's, let's get the next stage of this going because I got myself a whole bunch of beeswax. So now that should help us craft things for this. So what, it doesn't even take beeswax to craft those things. Watch now that I have beeswax, I'm not going to need it anymore for the tower. Polished metal block, which does take be beeswax. That's why we needed the beeswax. Look at that. All right, let's get this beeswax waxing. All right, and then my metal. There should be more metal here. Look at all this metal. I'm gonna make so much polished metal block. All right, ready? Pew, 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 pew. Now I gotta wait. Wait, no, I can do it here. No, oh, you can't make polished metal blocks here. Dang. Okay, the other thing we gotta do is Ivan, I believe, uh, one of the people at Terra for Terra HQ wants scutes, wants glow crawler scutes. And now that I have my very own uh, enhanced drill, I can spare some scutes. All right, collect. And craft. All right, now I have a bunch of polished metal block. Oh, this is the thing I also, I need this bench for the sake of making the this thing. So it takes 20 polished metal block to make two. I'm gonna craft four, because I need one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna need another four. Should I just craft all of those? Wait, I need uh this one as well, which is similar. Two of those. I'm gonna need a lot of all of these. I wonder what material that is right there. Probably concrete. I don't know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling really, I could probably finish this antenna like right now, except for, I don't know what that control panel takes. Oh, we need these things too. Well, not yet. We're not on that stage. We're not on that stage of construction quite yet. All right, I got a bunch of polished metal block now and the antennas are coming in. Is there anything on top? Oh, that stuff. How do I get that stuff? Where is that stuff? Is it under like regular craft? I think it's under the regular crafting table. Here we go. Which one is it? It is the wiry one. So the, did I build one of these? Hold on. Oh, I have one of these on me. Oh, cool. Got an extra one there. I thought I built one of those wiry antenna things. I th maybe I didn't. I th maybe I, th I think I thought about it. All right, well, let's get the wiry one started. Oh, we need screws. Okay, we need a bunch of stuff. Circuit boards, 10 screws, 12 small pipes. All right. Uh small pipes all right four eight more more than ten i think i got a couple screws over here i need ten so now i need eight more so i can go six twelve none of these are the right the right amounts to be good um so now i got a problem how do i get in there oh i got a ladder that's right use the ladder use the use i know use the ladder there we go all right now I can place that and that and uh using my lift I can do that and that and uh that and one more thing is needed collect okay antenna one is ready to go um I'm just gonna I know la letters are cool and all but Toilets are cooler. Right, man, look at this. It's so blurry. When is it? Is it going to go away? Watch. It just comes up with me. Look at that. It's like, leave me alone. How do I... How are you supposed to do this? What's the intended way of uh, accessing that? Toilet. Toilet wins again. Oh, we're on to the next level. Ooh, okay. We need more polished metal block. Well, I have this many. Okay, let's get some pipes and these things crafting because I can't place the polished metal block until I have eight of these things. Two, four, six, eight. How many pipes do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, eight. 
Okay, there we go. Two, four, six. I'm using a lot of my polished metal block already. Here, let's uh, get another batch in there. Beep, 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 beep. All right, there we go. I got all of those things now. The um, antenna stuff. I never look at the names and I just forget. Tower pole. All right, tower pole, tower pole, tower pole, tower pole, tower pole, tower pole. Tower pole, tower pole. It's starting to blend into like one fictional word now. Tower pole. Okay. So now, uh, polished metal block. We, oh, we needed these wedges too. Um, okay. We got that. And then that goes that way. That goes that way. This goes this way. We got polished metal, polished metal, polished metal. Okay, let's just fill these squares in like this. All right, so now that's going to be stud. That's going to be stud. That's stud. That's stud. 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 And then we need two by one wedges, it looks like. And my pipes. All right. I think I got everything crafting for this next stage of antenna construction. All right, let's start with the pipes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay. Um, Studded metal thing. We only need... A handful of these. There we go. Perfect. And now the wedges. See, look at that. Look at how much, look how much better this is going to look with the wedges. And bloop. All right. More of the same. You know what? I'm going to finish. It looks like it's going up with this antenna part. I'm going to finish this antenna part. And then it looks like this is probably going to be one of the last things. And we're going to save this one. And then we're going to do some drilling. So I've already got actually two of these on me. Let's, let's do it. One, two, perfect. And you know what? Oh, I need eight more wedges. I'm probably gonna need a handful. Maybe we just eight more wedges. All right, but now that I put those down, I can do this. All right, but this is pretty much the same formation as what we had before. All right, there we go. Uh, so all that's left is wedges and two more tower things. But how many tower things do I really need? I need four, eight, nine ten eleven i need 11 tower things eight wedges Tw uh, 16 wedges oh no those are regular wedges all right eight of the two by one wedges all right two oh i'm out of polished metal already all right all right well i got two more of those ones now while the polished metal is i'm just gonna leave this toilet there for now so i can just keep getting up and down easy so now at least i can finish this layer right here perfect all right uh, i should have went for I should have, well, I need, I need the polished metal for the wedges, I think. So I guess doing the polished metal isn't a bad idea. Let's get eight more of these. All right. Everything is crafted for a portion of this. Not all of, no. Yeah. For this, for this stage right here, we only needed wedges left for this. All right. Let's just do this the simple way and keep a spiral strategy going here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Next level. Oh, I didn't craft these yet. Yeah, I needed more polished metal. I have a hundred now. So wait, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, a 10, minus one. Just extra one somewhere. All right, next level. There we go, one, two, three, four. And we're getting at the end of our lift here. And let's do that. Let me hop on here. Here we go. Yeah, see this one doesn't have any wedges on it. it actually makes it a little bit easier to work with, but slightly less professional because wedges are superior and add professionalism to all things. There we go. And we're getting close. We're getting close to the top of the antenna. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, help me, help me. Ah. I'm taking my toilet with me now. How do I get up here? All right, toilet goes there. And then I go, uh, no, I can put my lift down here and put one of these down, one of those there. All right, so now I need, oh, you know what's kind of crazy? Well, it's gonna take polished metal block to do these wedges, but I have exactly nine and I need exactly nine, but I actually need more because the wedges. All right, ready? All right, so I think I need eight of like the normal wedges. One or two, four, six, eight. And then let's do another batch of polished metal. We're getting really close. Oh, what? 
about hold on let me get the hey uh where's my truck where's my truck oh my goodness i it yeah i i that would have been terrible how did it how did it end up rolling away it was like on flat ground up here wasn't it i need to take a look at uh where is it where's the big where's the, there it is i need to take a look at this thing the reason is because do i need like an attachment point no, I don't think so. I think that's how it's attached. Good, good, good. Let's do all that. I need to eat some carrot and drink some milk. Building is a hunger-inducing process. All right, that's why I carry two seats on me because I'm a little bit stuck here, but don't worry, I can just do that. Okay, so now I've got eight wedges on me. Exactly what I need. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then here we go with that. Wait. No, wait, what? Wait, what? Why are these all wrong? How is that wrong? Why are, Why is it red? See, this one says two. This one only says one. Oh, there we go. Ah, no! <laughs> what is going on with this, though? Like, anyone else confused? I'm a little bit confused. All right, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put it... Hmm. It looks like you have to attach it to this part. Which is kind of counter a little bit interesting. I don't know. It seems to be registering now for whatever reason. There we go. All right. Another one of these. Ah, I need scaffolding. All right, I'm going to stay on my toilet now. I'm actually going to use my toilet as scaffolding. So you go there and then finally ready, ready, ready. Uh, eh. oh, I can't do it. How do I get up there? Can I put my lift down? Like, oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, we're golden. We are golden. Ready for this? Wait, why can't I put it on there? There we go. That was actually harder to do than I expected. Look at this. Look at this antenna. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh no. That's a lot of those. What are those? All right, parts. Metal bracket or something. Where are you? Why don't I see it? It's gotta be in here. I'm at the metal working bench. Here it is. Corner brace. I need polished metal block for this too. Uh, I knew I said I was gonna stop at the tower, but just seeing all of one single part kind of made me just wanna make a bunch of that one single part. All right, I got a bunch on me. Let's start placing these things down. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I got a problem. I'm stuck in here. There's no way out. There's no way out. Good thing I brought my toilet. But seriously, who builds this thing without a door? I mean, I guess I built it. But I'm just following a blueprint. All right, now I got some more polished metal block, but I think I'm done. I think I'm done for now. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to sleep till daytime because we've got some stuff to do. Okay, um, I got to do the thing. I got to swap my chest out because I got to uh, pack down my mining vehicle so that I can take it to wherever we're going. Oh, I need to save a new version of it. Okay. Crash lander miner enhanced. Actually, no, I'm going to make some modifications. So one thing, interesting thing that you guys mentioned about my miner previously, looks like I use scrap block. Let's get some more scrap block to maintain consistency. Was um, apparently if you like, just kind of let the drill drag on the ground, that's ideal. So I need another bearing, actually. Do I have bearings? I probably don't. I'm just going to make some more. So I'm going to try this. Uh, having the drill just kind of like drag on the ground. That way it can hit the pieces on the ground. And like, if you're going to be mining the nodes, they're going to be attached to the ground no matter what. So as long as the drill's on the ground, that's your best point of contact. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to do this, this, and then I'm going to attach the drill right there. So now it's just going to stay there. And then did I put a, I did put a thing. So then this attaches to the controller. Going to make sure I reprogram it up to spin as fast as it can on loop. And then make sure the chemical container and the button are hooked into it. So now when I drive around, oh, wait, what am I doing here? There we go. Now when I drive around, as you can see, the drill will stay in contact with the ground at all times, which I think is a pretty sweet deal. So what I'm going to do now, I got a whole bunch of component kits. I'm going to wait. So it takes four. So it's going to take 16 component kits to upgrade each engine once. Do I even 
Do I have that many? There's 16. Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. All right. So now I'm just going to increase my speed so I'm not so agonizingly slow. Okay, now I'm too fast. And this drill needs a stopper. Thanks to that, that gave me the information that I need to have a little bit of a stopper so it can't go under me, like you just saw there. That should keep it. Yeah. See, now it's not going to go under me and rotate down too far. All right, but apparently uh, one less. We just needed one notch. I had to spend 16 component kits. Yeah, see, this feels good. This feels like a very nice speed. And I'm going to be a little bit heavier with the resource collector as well. So we should be good. All right, so now this is going to be my blueprint. Uh, let me take the batteries out of here. All right, crash lander, miner, enhanced. All right, so I can go ahead and delete this. I get everything in my inventory. And then I'll carry this. I'm just going to put this on the front of my vehicle because I'm going to need all that stuff back. And let's drive to some mining area. Oh, oh, I totally forgot. I need my refinery and all that stuff. I got to have my whole system set up here. All right, so we need to make room again because the refinery has to go back here. So we're going to make some space. So that chest was empty. I'll put this right there and we're good. So now I take this just like that. Oh, actually I needed that empty chest because this is where the output. Oh, I need a vacuum chest. My output. Okay, so this is it's the same one that is the input chest here because this is where all the or the basic ore goes. Yeah, this is going to be crafting it into that stuff. Okay, there we go. And then we need both resource collectors. So I'll just slap one right there. I'm going to be so heavy. Slap this one right there. And now, now we're set. Good to go. I am very heavy. Can my engine go any higher? Nope. All right, this is going to be our first time not only mining with an enhanced drill, but our first time mining with two resource collectors, which should make the, the, uh, the whole system way more efficient than the last time I tried this. So let's see how it goes. And it looks like we've got a pretty big mining node right here. Isn't this, is this not the same one? That I did last time. That one's not bad. Oh, this is the one. I never finished it. I get, does, it does it grow back in Crash Lander? All right, well, I'm gonna leave my vehicle right here. This seems like a nice spot where it's not gonna drift too far. And let's go ahead and build our mining vehicle. Get this stuff out of my inventory. There we go. And now I can get all this stuff back. Ah, 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 I'm getting attacked. Oh, it's an ambush. Why isn't the cow freaking out? Come on, guys. No, 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 not my vehicle. Not the wheel again. You break another wheel. I'm going to be very mad. Oh, look at that. Some chemicals. My inventory is full. Really? Exactly full? Oh, that's because I was just about to put a bunch of uh, batteries in here. All right, there we go. There's some chemicals. Now I take a resource collector and I slap it in here. All right, are we ready? First time with this new mining vehicle. All right, actually, hold on. I'm going to do something so that it's going to be easier. I need to unhook this stuff and hook it back up so it's not taking up the wrong button slots. Uh, there, there, and there. There we go. Now our explosion button is number two. All right, let's turn the drill on. Let's see how the drill works just by itself. Honestly, that's pretty good. But let's do the explosion. Ready? Oh my goodness. Right, explosion. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, indeed. Holy cow, and the dragging on the ground thing seems to be working pretty good. All right, let's keep it going. Let's watch it from this perspective a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's not that's not too bad. Uh, go ahead and explode that real quick. There we are. Yeah, in fact, the only thing about the drill dragging on the ground is um, it pushes the stuff out of the way, like the actual rods themselves. I guess it's not like too bad. It's not too big of a deal. It doesn't always happen. All right, how are we doing? Resource collector's not quite full yet. We definitely made some pretty quick work. So in the last episode where I was doing mining, uh, hold on, boom, boom. Yeah, in the last episode where I was doing mining, I was saying how refining by hand is kind of faster than refining with the refinery. But according to the comments, I don't know if this is true or not, but according to the comments, uh, the refinery has a better yield than hand refining. So there's that to think about. 
All right, let's continue on. See, now this is where the efficiency improves over our last expedition because while that refinery is refining, I have another resource collector so I can keep using my mining vehicle, my drill vehicle. All right, let's keep it going. All right. Oh, that one on the ground just is totally fell through the ground. It should be back. Should be back soon enough. I don't know if it's worth it to use the uh, explosion on like the last, like the last little bit to reduce it down into rods or not. I'm just kind of having fun because I know I have like an, an abundance of chemicals. Oh, that was good. I mean, eh, eh, uh. I'm glad the explosions do not hurt the vehicle. Does it hurt the mining vehicle? No, no, it does not. Oh, we're almost full again. Yeah, we are way faster. We can mine faster than the refinery. We can definitely refill a resource collector way faster than the refinery can refine a resource collector because we are full again. Let's see how far it got by the time I put this on. All right, we put that on like that and we are halfway through. So I guess now I'm going to go ahead and hand do hand do the rest of this stuff. There we go. How many batteries do we use, by the way? We use 12 batteries. Hmm. 12 batteries for two resource collectors. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? All right, here, let's do we, do, we get 15 materials for each one. So let's do a quick check here on the output chest. Um, how are we gonna measure this? What is it refining right now? It's hard to tell, it looks like stone. All right, hold on, what's the next rod? All right, that's copper. 248 to 256. Oh, then plus 12. 48 to 56 is uh, 8. So that's 20. So we're getting 20 um, through, the re through the refinery versus uh, 15 through hand drilling. So comments were correct. Confirmed. You do get a higher yield using the refinery than using the hand thing. Uh, the hand refiner. But are we are we done yet? Oh, look at that. This one is empty. I'm excited. Oh, it's not empty. Or, you know what? It's empty enough. That's what it is. All right, let's put this back. All right, let me back up to get this. Oh, that was so easy. All right, and then anything I'm missing? Looks like we're making pretty quick work of everything. This isn't too bad. It is a little bit slower using the mining machine when everything is kind of spread out like this, for sure. It's probably definitely wasting more battery than necessary when there's all this space in between. But when it's like a chunk of node, like a node that is everything's all chunked together, it's definitely way faster, I think, and way more efficient to use the mining vehicle. Yeah, we cleared this out really fast, actually. This system, pretty good. Whoa, look at the bear. Should I kill it? I wonder, do the explosions... Do they work well against animals? That bear's going after a cow. Do bears really eat cows? Is that a thing? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not good. Okay, okay, okay. Not my mining vehicle. Not my mining vehicle. Ah. I got a bed over here now, so I'm not as nearly as worried. I'm going to melee this bear. I'm going to melee it all the way till it's dead. Or I'm dead. One of us. This is a fight to the death. And I'm, I'm totally winning this right now. Okay, he's doing some decent damage, though. I don't think I've ever really observed the bear's attack animation this closely. It, it's got shoulders. This bear is all shoulders. This is a shoulder bear. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, oh boy. Okay, okay, there we go. I did it. My first melee kill on a bear. Congratulations, me. All right, back to mining. A little bit of a detour there. Oh, yeah, ready? Explosion time. Bam, bam. I'm just gonna do a bunch of explosions on this until everything's down to the rods, pretty much. All right. Good enough. I used a whole bunch of chemicals just then, but worth it. I got a ton of chemicals on me in my vehicle. Or are we full already? We are full already. All right, let's bring this back to the vehicle. We can check how, with a bare interruption, how far did the other one get? And we are almost done. Almost done on that side. Not too bad. All right, I'll just hand refine the rest of these. And we're like, we pretty much finished this node. You know, I know that going to the mines, like those big walls of rocks that are just on level terrain it'd be so fast you need so many resource collectors to really take advantage of how fast you can mine those things um but i need i need to get rid of some inventory stuff all right this thing is ready to be full again 
I can probably just move to another node. Probably should have chosen a place with more rock choices, but because I don't want to have to move, I, like I don't want to have to pack up my mining vehicle again. But I'll just move this one over here, and I'll just go grab my other vehicle on a. Or I can just drive it. I'll just drive it. All right, you know what? I am going to park in an attempt to do some double collection. I'm going to park that right there, and maybe some other rods will get pushed into there somehow. I doubt it's really going to happen, but eh, doesn't hurt. All right, turn on the drill and. Out of chemicals. That's okay. I got a couple on me. All right. And boom. Boom. Am I going to break my vehicle? Am I going to blow up my vehicle? I wonder if the drill, the drill doesn't destroy its own vehicle, but if it could destroy other vehicles. So this could have been a bad idea. Oh, that's the wrong button. All right. And boom. There we go. All right. Come on. The drill dragging on the ground is a little rough when it comes to um, pushing the rods around, but like you also need it to drag on the ground so you can break down those things into rods in the first place. So it's kind of like a little bit of a catch-22. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that one's in an interesting spot over there. Too bad it wasn't the rods that flew up. There we go. There we go. Fill up this resource collector. Yeah, the chemicals do go really quick though. I used 100 chemicals pretty fast. All right, let's go ahead and just pick this one up manually. Go ahead and stick it in there and bring this over. Yeah, we just finished that whole node pretty pretty fast. Oh, forgot about this one. There we go. Did it get picked up? Oh, no. All right, how are we doing on materials? We're getting a lot of stuff here. Not a lot of raw metal compared to copper and scrap stone and coal. Raw metal and coal seems to be pretty rare. All right, but I feel like we did a pretty decent test here. Oh, we got a bunch of uh, hidden rods out in the field. But I think we did a pretty decent test of the enhanced drill. So I think the last thing I want to do is let's pack up and let's head to Forterra HQ and turn in the Skewt quest. I think that one actually gets us a variety of rewards. All right, time to pack up the mining vehicle again. This is such a, like, a tedious process. I wonder if, uh, I know in Vanilla Survival, like for Chapter 2, I know that they were working on a blueprint system. I don't know how they were going to make it work. I don't know what their plan was for making that work. Um, so now I actually need to grab the other chests. This is going to be my mining vehicle chest. Go ahead and put all of this stuff in there. All right, now I'll just slap this thing. I don't know. Slap it up front there, I guess, for now. All right, let's head back to base and drop all this heavy stuff off. This antenna is basically my base. Like, I didn't really do much, like, actual base building, but I built this antenna, so we got that going for us. So if I sleep through the night... Okay, yeah, it's still just doing its mining thing. All right, let's go ahead and put this on the ground. And it just finished up its last uh, refining just as I was ready to take out that resource collector. All right, now time to get organized. Um, put some stuff back that I don't really need. And you know what? Since I am going to be traveling to HQ and potentially getting quest rewards and maybe accepting another quest, I'm going to go ahead and take all of my stuff with me in case I need materials and want to craft on the go. All right, so this is our input materials. This is our output materials where crafted stuff goes. So that's where all these are gonna go. And I guess I'll put my polished metal and this stuff in there too. Here's my mining vehicle. Let's just put that back there so it's not in my face anymore. Inventory is looking pretty clean now. All my crafting stations are coming with me. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's just fuel up over at our fuel station. Okay, gas. And then let's get the gas recraft in here. There we go, perfect. All right, Fort Terra, here I come. I know it's not the easiest place to get to from my base, but, um, I'm just gonna try to scale a couple of cliffs and hopefully it won't take too long. Off we go. Woo! Woo! Woo <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, going over the cliffs and coming down from up there is like the most epic way to get to Fort Terra. All right, let's check the secret chest. Bip, 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 bip. Another saddle? Oh, component kits. I'll take that. Some coal block. Or I'll take it. I'll take it. Fine. Okay. Let's go quest hunting. All right. I think it's Ivan. Let's go find Ivan. Ivan? 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 
Ivan, I've been looking for you. All right, let's see. Um, Bring, no, 30 batteries. I could bring you 30 batteries. I got 30 batteries. All right, but let me talk to him again. Here we go. Bring 50. Oh, I get 256 metal three. That's that's pretty good. All right, let's do this one. I heard there are bugs in the caves. I don't like bugs. I like what's on their backs. Me neither. These things are useless, but thanks. Okay, there we go. 256. Do I have 30 batteries? Oh, I have 19 batteries on me. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept your battery quest. There we go. I'll be right back, Ivan. This is why I bring everything with you at all times, everywhere. And that's not my battery chest. My battery chest is over here. All right, so I need 30 batteries. Let's just bring 40. Oh my God. I was like, what are they doing outside? But that's not Ivan. That's cow. Okay, Ivan, I got the batteries, Ivan. Are you still up at the top floor? Oh, hey, Mark. Mark. Okay, Ivan. Oh, he is right there. He's in the same spot. What are the chances? All right, thanks. We have backup power now. No problem. 128 glass block. Oh, and 250. Oh, that's a lot of glass block, actually. All right, what else? Three large item chests, 10 glow poop. Don't have that. Five small chests for 25 soil. I don't even want soil. Anything else? Let me do one more talk. All right, looks like I've seen all of his quests. Let's go find Mark again. Hey, Mark, 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 Mark. Oh, hey, Justin, what do you got? Oh, he's all the food, the food stuff. Yeah, I gotta be honest. Mar uh, Justin's quests are the least interesting to me. But where did Mark go? I just passed him in the stairwell. And oh, hey, Mark. Hello. All right, something I could do for you. Two beacons for 172 copper block. Not that great. Three large explosive canisters for those are pretty good. I wouldn't really need them for anything. They're just like it would just take a lot to make those. I think probably more than large explosive canisters. But I don't know. I feel like none of the side quests are really that crucial anymore. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to pass this off to you guys in the comments. Should we finish the antenna? Oh my, it's raining. What a poetic way. What a, what a poetic way to get into the end. Uh, should we finish the antenna next episode? What should we do? Let me know down in the comments below what you think we should do. I think we're capable materials wise to finish the antenna, but I'm going to stay here in case you guys want me to go somewhere that's not home because I don't want to go all the way back home and then have to like drive completely somewhere else so let me know what you guys want to see for the next episode hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did you probably enjoy some more stuff that you can find right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrapman and i'll see you next time bye